So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unbox and wirelessly set up the HP NV6455 printer. Now, while this is being done on the 6455, this setup process is applicable to all HP NV6400 series printers. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Now, the first thing you'll notice once you open the box up is the setup guide and a few other pieces of documentation. Now, hopefully you will not need the setup guide because I'll be working step by step to set up this printer and next you'll find both the cartridges and the power cable. Now I've placed the printer's box on a flat table or surface and I'm going to pull the printer out and that's the easiest way to get it out of the box. And once I removed it from the box I removed the foam end caps and the plastic wrap that was covering the printer and the next step is to remove all the pieces of blue packing tape and we're going to start with the ones on top. These are the easiest ones to get off so pull on them and gently remove them. And we're gonna remove this one back here. There's one up here, move that. And we're gonna remove one more, which is up here. Let's open up the scan bed and remove this piece of tape up here. And that piece of tape also has a piece of foam attached to it. You wanna remove that as well. And we're gonna remove this piece of protective plastic from the scan bed. So pull that off. And let's also remove these pieces of tape on top. There's one right up here, peel that off. Peel the second one that's up here. And there's one more back here, let's remove that. Now to remove the next few pieces of packing material, we're gonna to have to access the cartridge compartment. And to do that, I'm gonna close the scan bed lid first. So I'm gonna use the two tabs on the left and right hand side to open up the printer's cartridge compartment. And we're gonna start with this piece of blue tape, which begins on the front surface. We're gonna gently pry that up and over, and then pull on that till that comes out. And that is attached to a piece of cardboard which you absolutely need to remove. And we're gonna get rid of that and trash this. And then we're gonna close the cartridge compartment door. Now I've turned the printer around and I'm gonna attach the printer's power cable. And to do that, I'm gonna plug this end of the power cable into the back of the printer. And then I'm gonna plug the other end into a power outlet. Now, as soon as you plug the printer in, there's a light on the front, an LED light bar, and that turns green. And you have to wait a few seconds till the the light turns purple and that's when you're ready to move on to the next step. Now you can see that the light is now slowly flashing purple which means we're ready to move on to the next step. And it's now time to install cartridges in the printer. Now before we install these cartridges, we need to do a little bit of prep. So let's get both the cartridges out of their outer packaging. And the next thing you wanna do is remove this protective sticker. That is the protective sticker on the contacts of the cartridge. So you wanna pull on this tab and remove that protective sticker. And you wanna do the same for both the black and tricolor cartridges. And to open up the cartridge compartment, I'm gonna slide my fingers into the slot on the side and pull up till the cartridge compartment opens up. So let's install the cartridges. We're going to flip these trays up on both the black and tricolor trays. And then I'm going to insert the cartridge with the electronic contacts facing down and inward. So I'm going to place it in there. I'm going to place it in the tray and then I'm going to pull down on this locking tab to lock in place. Let's do the same for the black cartridge. Again, the electronic contacts facing back and inward. So again, push it in, use that locking tab to pull it into place. And let's now close the cartridge compartment door. So the rest of the setup on this printer has to be done either through a smartphone app or through a computer, whether that's a Mac or a PC. Now the easiest way to set up your HP NV6455 is using the HP Smart app. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up on an iPhone, but the procedure is pretty much identical even if you're using Android. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the App Store and search for HP Smart. And then once I found it, I'm gonna tap Get and wait for it to download. Give it a few seconds. And once it downloads, tap Open. And on the first page, it says Welcome to HP Smart. And it asks you to accept their terms. I'm gonna tap Accept All. And then it asks whether you'd like to allow permission for advertising tracking. I'm gonna tap Continue. And then I'm gonna tap Ask App Not to Track. Again, this is entirely up to you. I'm just gonna tap this for now. And then on this screen, it asks me whether I'd like to set up a new printer or sign in. In my case, I just recommend signing in. Don't tap set up a new printer just yet. I'm gonna tap sign in. Now this takes you to a page where you sign in to your HP account. Now, if you don't already have an account, you can always sign up for one. 
I already have one, so I'm just going to sign in. But if you don't have an account, tap the sign up button and create an account. So I signed into my account and then the app asks me whether I'd like the app to send me notifications. Again, this is entirely up to you. I'm going to say don't allow. And then it asks me whether I'd like the app to find and connect to devices on my local network. I'm definitely going to allow. And then it brings you to the app's homepage. And here I'm going to tap add your first printer. And then on the next screen, tap get started and it seems to have already located this printer which is the HP NV 6400 series tap on that and then it wants to know if you'd like to put the printer automatically on your Wi-Fi network I'm gonna tap yes and then it asks me which network I'd like to connect to. In my case, it is Vortex 5G. This would be your home Wi-Fi network, whichever home Wi-Fi network all your devices are connected to. And then hit next. And then it says that it is connecting to that network. And then it says that the setup is complete. Hit done. And on the next screen, it asks you to press and release the flashing information button on your printer. So you wanna press that. And as soon as I press that button, the process moves on. Now for the next step, it asks me to accept more terms and conditions. I'm going to tap accept all. And then it asks me if I'd like to activate HP plus for smart printing capabilities. This is obviously entirely up to you. But in my case, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to tap do not activate HP plus. And then it asks me to confirm the fact that I'm declining this and I'm going to tap decline HP plus. And then it warns me that this printer is designed to only work with genuine HP cartridges and has a chip inside each cartridge that prevents you from using non HP cartridges. I'm just going to tap continue. And then it says that it is registering my printer. And then it lets me know that my printer has a few months of ink and delivery through the instant ink program. I'm going to skip this. I'm going to tap do not enable ink delivery. And then it asks me to confirm this. I'm going to say skip offer. Now it's time to load some paper in the printer. To load paper into the paper tray, I'm going to pull on this tab on the bottom and pull the paper tray out. And then you're going to slide the guides outward and then insert your paper into the tray and then for a last step slide your guides back into place and then let's close the compartment and as soon as you do that you'll notice a message on screen that says paper loaded hit continue and then it wants to perform an alignment on the printer hit continue to print the alignment page and let that print out once the alignment page prints out you want to open the scan lid place the page exactly as directed onto the scan bed with the top left hand corner of the page face flat on the scan bed aligned with the top left hand corner of the scan bed and close the scan bed and last but not least tap on the copy button on the printer that is the blinking copy button and as soon as it's done scanning the alignment page a message pops up tap continue and then it wants to know if I'd like to enable auto updates and I do recommend doing this this can be very useful so I'm going to tap auto update and then tap apply and then it says that the setup process is complete and you can always print a test page I highly recommend doing this I'm not going to do this for now but I highly recommend tapping print to make sure that the printer is actually printing and on the next screen it asks me if I'd like to send a link to print from other devices now as I mentioned I will be showing you how to set it up on a Windows computer so I'm not going to be sending this link I'm going to tap skip sending link and then it asks me if I'm sure and I'm going to say yes I'm definitely sure and then it again lets you know that setup is complete. Tap all done. And that pretty much is all the setup that you need to do on the HP NV6455. And this brings us to the end of the unboxing and setup of the HP NV6400 series. If you're looking to buy this printer, I'll leave a link right below the video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.